Welcome back everybody, this is the Typhoon Legacy Channel, and this is episode 10 of season 2. Um, I'm standing by our Rolls Royce Merlin, which really seems to be a bit controversial and uh, the cause of a lot of speculation that perhaps we've lost our focus on the Typhoon. And um, given our last setback here with the, uh, the coolant and oil issue, I've talked to some of the people that are involved in this and what we've decided to do is go ahead and let everybody know publicly once and for all exactly why we're rebuilding this Merlin engine. So that's what this episode's all about. One of the most prevalent bits of speculation that we get is that we're rebuilding this Rolls-Royce Merlin 3 to cart it around to different shows and events, uh, run it, and raise money for the rebuild of JP843. And while that seems to make sense, I'm not sure where it started, and that is absolutely not what it's about. Doing that um, for an item that really has absolutely nothing to do with the Typhoon is just straying too far from my focus on the Typhoon um, and the rebuild of JP843 to justify. So this was a very big balancing act for me, whether we we're going to take this on or not, but it is absolutely justified and absolutely focused on the Typhoon. So what this item is, is a, uh, a trade item. So the, the Rolls-Royce Merlin rebuild, the whole project that we've taken on is a trade item. And how it came about is that uh, several years ago, before the acquisition of this engine, I approached an individual who owns an artifact that we could really use for JP843. And um, I don't know if he'd heard of us or, or knew of us at the time. His response to my uh, request for sale or trade or anything else was that he would trade it for a running Rolls-Royce Merlin engine on a trailer. And uh, I said, okay. And I don't think he realized that we were actually going to do it until we, we kind of took a leap of faith. We acquired the engine. We started building it and we showed him what we were able to do here. So it's progressed quite nicely since then. I think all parties are very happy. And in fact, the trade item is actually uh, semi-local to us right now. It's at a third party being held until the such time as the Rolls-Royce Merlin runs, is operational, is tested, and ready for shipment. So this is it. This is a Napier Sabre engine, and this is what we've put so much time and effort into working on the Merlin for. It's a uh, direct trade, and it's going to significantly advance the rebuild of JP843. So I'll take a little bit of video work here, and you guys can have a, a good peek at what we're dealing with. Um, I don't want to answer too many questions about how we're going to proceed with en this engine. You'll notice it's a cutaway. We do have a plan, multiple plans as a matter of fact. But for now, I want you to know that uh, we're definitely on track and advancing very quickly on Hawker Typhoon JP843, despite the concerns over the Merlin.
So the first thing that you'll notice is that this is an Aper Sabre 7 engine, and I think that is a fantastic thing, not only for the preser preservation of the absolute best variant of the Aper Sabre engine, but also the safety that is built in, into the, uh, the engine based on the lessons learned from the 2A and 2B throughout the war. Uh, the biggest thing to me with this is that the induction system is a Hobson injection system. Uh, water meth is not required for the Typhoon, but the Hobson injection system will eliminate the uh, tendency of the early engines uh, to have carburetor fires. So a uh, bit of a safety thing there, but also all of the strength increases that were designed and put into the engine, again from the lessons learned during combat, um, have been incorporated in this engine. It's a very robust, very strong and very refined variant of the Saber. So we're really, really, really excited to, to get this engine back to the shop. And we've got to finish this guy, of course, and make sure that everybody's happy in this trade deal. But I hope you guys are also interested and keen to see what we're going to do with this. Just a quick aside uh, regarding the Merlin here, we've received our repair parts from Peter Grieve in the UK. Thank you very much, Peter. And um, we've now extracted the damaged tube that was in our uh, B-Bank cylinder block and are ready to start reassembling the engine. So hopefully we can get this thing all buttoned back up and kind of return to the position that we we're at and start uh, test runs and making sure everything is hunky-dory. So pretty big news. I, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed seeing this episode and learning exactly what we're doing. We we're absolutely focused on the uh, rebuild of the Typhoon and uh, we should be getting right back to it fairly soon. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Cheers.